Welcome to Elysium. I'm Cam. This is the daytime investigation at the Bigfoot location. Uh, we're out here checking out, seeing what we can find. Um, hit the like, subscribe, share, and come along this crazy, way dense forest to, to, to uh, investigate with me. Let's go. Well, hello everybody. Cam here with Elysium. And uh, I'm out here. I told you guys that I would be including the footage that that 72 year old man passed on to me in this video. And it is coming up here in just a second. Um, <clears throat> I'm out here during the this is part of the investigation. I want to come out at night too um, and set up, but I'm basically out here looking around uh, for evidence other than, you know, than, than the video uh, footage, uh, which again, you guys are going to see here momentarily. Um, so I'm just trying, and, and it's heavily wooded. I'll turn the camera down here in just a second to show you guys. It's, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty, Hard to navigate. Uh, it's very grown in, like I told you, I think in the short, I think I told you guys, it is very, as you can see, I'm in the area uh, where all this took place. And uh, it's very tall. I'm six foot four. And the, this, I guess, underbrush or whatever you want to call it is about four foot tall. So it's very, very hard to navigate through. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, bring you guys out here, uh, and show you the area. Um, and it is, like I said, heavily wooded. I don't see, and I'll turn it around and show you guys. I don't see anything as of recent, as I told you, this video was, uh, oh God, I hope that's a squirrel. I just seen the leaves moving and they still are moving in this brush and i don't know if it's a what type of animal it is i don't want to get sprayed by a skunk or uh and snakes and things like that but just whatever anyway so i'm gonna keep an eye on that let me see if i can turn it around and show you guys i don't know how well you'd be able to see that but there was a little bit of movement right in here where the tops of these were moving quite a bit like a bigger animal was was moving it but anyway, we'll, I guess I will keep, where was I? <laughs> anyway, you got to stay alert like that, especially some of you guys that go out in the woods. You know, I'm originally from Florida and every animal out there is venomous or poisonous. And you want to keep your head on a swivel because I'm a firm believer. 99% of the time, the things you need to worry about when you're out in the woods are the actual real, real threats. Um, but anyway, you can see up, this is all a hillside, very heavily wooded. And I, I mean, I see natural game trails, you know, like deer, things like that. Um, so we're going to walk through a little bit of this in the general area uh, and, and see if I can't see anything out of the ordinary. And like I said, it was last year uh, when he told me that this was, this was caught. He was worried about uh, people sneaking on the land out here and illegally deer hunting. Uh, so he set these things out, uh, cameras and whatnot, basically to try to catch people poaching. Um, we got here, there's a bone over there. 
Let me see if I can get down into there to, to get this bone. Over there, there's a bone laying there. I can't make out what it is. I don't want to touch the damn thing. But there are little areas in here. I haven't been back here yet, but you can see how this is a little bit bedded down, you know, pushed down. Um, but definitely animal activity. So, well, we can check that out. Clearly something living in there. <laughs> but anyway, um, what I wanted to say about the, I don't know if any of you guys out there will agree with me. Um, I mean, just like right here, there's bedded down areas, but like I said, I can only go off of what I know, which is kind of limited. I'm out there researching this stuff just like some of you guys are. Um, but what I do know is when there's a healthy deer population or an animal population, I mean, that, that's what uh, a Sasquatch, Yeti, Bigfoot, something, you know, uh, grass man, uh, dog man, those are the things, they're, they're going to want that. So I do see <laughs> a very healthy, there's bones. I just showed you one. Uh, there are a few trails embedded down areas, so there's, it, it's clear that there's animal life out here. Um, but yeah, from what I can tell so far, this looks to be a prime location, according to many people. Um, they like ample food supply, so, uh, I'm, right now I'm also trying to look for, uh, animal, animal droppings, so I can identify what animals, um, but I have heard that, uh, the Bigfoot, grass man, you know, dog man, things like that, really, really uh, prefers deer. Um, now, obviously, this, he was worried about people out here illegally poaching and deer hunting. They're obviously here. <laughs> it brought people here. So, <clears throat> sorry, I've got a little bit of sinus issues. It's that time of year. Um, this is interesting as all get out and i'll show this oh whoa 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 oh boy i just walked up on this so you guys tell me what you think like i said the footage is coming that we got from this location um it looks like i don't know what type of tree this is it's got these little berries maybe you guys could tell me this is southern indiana there's the shape of the leaves. They're like kind of like this and got berries. And the tree has clearly fallen down or been knocked down. And right here, you can see this, all these leaves laying flat. It's all bedded down. And right here is the skeletal remains of an animal. This does look old, so I'll touch this. The spinal cord, the spine still seems to be intact. Oh my, look at that. I don't know exactly what that is. It's clearly been there a while. The roots have grown, it, grown into it. Huh, look at that. And all the bones are right here still. I guess leg bone to something. And it looks like a maybe a coyote, a, canine type looking i did not expect to find this P pelvic bone maybe i don't know and it's all sitting right here in this bed down area interesting see all the little bone fragments now uh, um huh yeah crazy that was pretty interesting. I don't know what you guys think, but normally don't animals carry that stuff off? So I'm just going to go out on a limb here. There's clearly something predatory here, right? That, or, you know, whatever. Or is there something big enough here that is running off the smaller animals that would normally carry away, carry away leftover parts like this? 
it makes me wonder that like i'm just snowballing here uh very interesting and it seems like it's freshly bedded down too like something comes here to bed down at night that's fairly large anyway huh. well anyhow i don't know to call that absolute evidence of anything in general but there is something back here feeding on other animals and bedding down there's evidence of animals back here other animal life so you know the food chain huh anyway but um we are gonna set up our own stuff and i'll be sharing that with you guys too this is the daytime investigation and then like i said you'll see the footage during this video uh, that he caught on the trail camera that he passed over to me um and then you know the second video is obviously going to be uh when i want to get out here at nighttime i'll be by myself like legitimately by myself out here um looks like there's like a natural clearing here and like a a dry creek that it looks to where this water comes in here from time to time so anyway um i'll see you guys next time uh in the next video when we do the nighttime investigation enjoy the footage tell me what you think in the comments below uh tell me what you think about it uh I'm, there's a lot more of you guys out there more educated on this subject than me trust me uh, I'm just doing the best I can. Um, following up on a lead from, from a viewer that wanted me to check out their footage and gave me permission to check out their land. Um, so anyway, uh, tell me what you guys think. We're going to look into this further. Uh, subscribe, like, share this out. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think below. And I'll see you next time.